Alright, hello everyone. Today I'm making a little bit of a different video than usual, um, but as you can see from the title, I'm making a tier list video on the songs in the Black Album. So I thought that'd be kind of cool to rank all these songs since I like pretty much all of them. And uh, I'll be ranking them just as the album, so like the worst songs of the album will be an F and the best will be an S, but I do think all the songs on this album, like if I was ranking all the songs I like as a whole, none of these would be an F, that's what I mean. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'll get right into it. I'm going to start off uh, with Enter Sandman, the first song on the album, and uh, this song, when I first listen to it the hundred first hundred times it would have been s like this was probably the song that got me into metal in general like the music that i like but right now because i've heard it so many times and because of the all the youtube videos about it and it's just it's the most talked about song by far of metallica so like i feel like because of the effect it has on me, it should be an S, but because how tired I've gotten of it, it's probably going to be like a B right now, which I feel like it should be better just because how much effect on me, but I mean, I'm just so sick and tired of it right now, because whenever you're like, oh, I like Metallica, someone's always like, oh, play Under Sandman, and it's just like, no, no, I'm good. <laughs> So that, yeah, it's going to be a B right now. And ratings change over time. So like I said, it, it just really depends on what stage of listening you're in. All right, next song is uh, Sad But True, which again, I've heard this song so many times. It's like these two and The Unforgiven are like the only ones they play on the radio. And Nothing Else Matters, I guess. They don't play any of the songs I really like, though. But anyway, Sad But True, again, at the beginning, it would have been really high up. But I think, again, this is probably going to get a B. Just I haven't heard it nearly as much, but it it's also hasn't had as much effect on me as Enter Sandman. So it would probably get a B as well. All right. Actually, no, nah, I'm going to give it a C. I just decided. It, it gets a C. All right. Uh... Holier Than Thou. This song, I really enjoy. I do really like this song. Um, it, it hasn't got old, and they never play it on the radio, so there's also that. But also, I just think it's a really fresh song. It, it's it got good vocals in it, and I really like the melody. So the solo isn't the best like, it, the solo definitely could be better. So, I think I'm going to put this one in B, because just because the solo is not very good, in my opinion. But, uh, like, in terms of me liking the song, I love it a ton. Um, okay, next song is The Unforgiven. This song has gotten very old. I've listened to it way too many times. The solo is good, but it's not good enough to... I just, I just got... This song's gotten really old, and in terms of how much I liked the song to begin with, I did like it, but I'm a fan of, you know, more upbeat stuff. And this isn't my kind of mellow, is what I'm saying, I guess. So it's probably going to get a D. Because Metallica just doesn't make my kind of mellow songs. Like, I do like mellow songs, but I like Metallica for their thrash, you know. Alright, uh, next song is Wherever I May Roam. This song, amazing solo. I remember liking this solo so much when I first listened to it. That last high note at the around the end of the solo, 
was amazing. I loved learning it on guitar. And so, yeah, this song gets an A. That, it was a great song. And I feel like a lot of Metallica fans who don't like the Black Album usually like this song. Because it's just, it's got that old Metallica kind of vibe. It's, it's really nice. Um, okay, the next song we got here, Don't Tread On Me. I Right now, I definitely love this song. This song is one of my favorites. I love that little solo at the beginning. The main riff is just so chunky. I love playing it on guitar. And I've loved this one forever. It hasn't gotten old. Because of that, I, th- I just think it gets an A. I mean, it, it's it's an amazing song. And the, the chorus doesn't get old. And um, it has a great solo as well. So, and just the historical significance, like as here, I got the flag, don't don't tread on me. Every time I see that flag, I'm I'm reminded of this song and it's a good song. So it's like, oh, hello. (laughs) Cool. All right. Through the Never. Um, This song is, I I really like it right now. It's not, it's never been my favorite. It's always been kind of the, the middle of the road song. I mean, and also... I think I feel like it would have been a lot better, as you can see here. I got the through the never picture, the movie they made. It would have been really cool if we could have seen that song in the movie, but they didn't play it in the movie. And I feel like just because of that, and it hasn't gotten much recognition. I don't. They don't play it live very often. I don't think. And I really wish they would, because I do like it. But it's just, yeah, it's just kind of one of those. B tier songs just all by itself. I mean, it's not amazing, but it ain't bad either. Um, nothing else matters. F. I mean, again, like I said, Metallica doesn't make my kind of mellow, and this song is so hard to listen to now. Like, the first time you hear it, it's good, it's good. But after you hear it a hundred times on the radio, it's just like, oh, please stop. I. I don't want to hear Metallica. That's for people who don't like Metallica. All right. It's, it's not good. Okay. Next song of Wolf and Man. This song, I don't think gets enough credit. It has probably the best riff on this album. The best main riff. I love that riff so much. And I feel like the chorus and the song itself doesn't quite live up to the greatness of that riff. But just because of that, I think it gets an A because that riff is so amazing. It's so fun to play on guitar and stuff. And when you think about it, it's still an amazing song. I mean, who doesn't like werewolves? <laughs> when you think about it. Um, so yeah, it, it deserves an A up there with wherever I'm in room. Um, the God that failed. This song, it's got a it's got a very good main riff, but uh, I don't personally appreciate the song as a whole as much. So I'm probably gonna give it a C, just because of that. But I I do like the main riff a lot, and the solo the solo is decent, but it's it's yeah again it's not nothing amazing. Uh, okay, next song. I'm just going to say right ahead, this is my favorite song on the album. This is Getting an S, My Friend of Misery. This song is amazing. It does not get enough recognition for what it is. And it has the best solo out of this album by far. The solo is so amazing. I love the main riff. It has so many good sections of the song. And I know it was supposed to be... Uh, an instrumental before and they added lyrics to it. I personally love the lyrics. Like I know a lot of people don't, but I love them. I always sing along to the song. The solo again is so amazing. It just puts this song on a higher level and it does have those mellow bits, but the mellow bits really add to the song as a whole because they just build up to those heavy parts, which I, I really like that. And then finally the struggle within This song has probably the second best solo on this album. I love this solo as well. It's a shorter song, 
which I, I usually like longer songs. But it also it, it has an amazing breakdown section right after the solo that I cannot help headbanging to. That is probably just it, it's a monumental song. But the vocals and the lyrics as a whole, some parts really get me good, but then the other half just doesn't quite make up for it. So I feel like either this song, like half of this song is kind of a C tier song, but then the other half is definitely an A tier. And I don't really want to put it in either. So it's probably going to be a B. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah, that's, that's, uh, all the songs, and so thanks for watching, and if you really disagree, write your opinion in the comments, but this is my, what I think, F, definitely for Nothing Else Matters, and S for these two songs, which probably isn't what most people expect, because definitely these songs, like, don't even get that much recognition, so, but, as a Metallic fan, that I've been a Metallic fan for a while, and I've listened to all these songs hundreds of times. So this is just over time what I think holds up the best, and based on like what's played on the radio and stuff like that. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe; it really help. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.